Hello and good morning, everybody. Here with Martin Peniff, Chief Account Executive and Trading Analyst, GDMFX. Welcome to today's European Session Market Outlook. As usual, starting with the North American markets. Um, yesterday, the industrial Dow Jones uh, went 20 points down. The Nasdaq, however, was 70 points down yesterday. The Dixie is also down 96.56 from 97.14. Uh, the dollar basically tumbled Monday um, to its weakest level against the uh, the yen, the Japanese yen, since the late 2014, as plunging oil prices dragged global stocks lower. Uh, this also helped to support haven assets like the Japanese currency and the U.S. treasuries. Hedge funds are losing faith in the dollar. Basically, what they say is that the, the long dollar positioning by speculators um, is at its lowest level since October. Uh, the net long positions in the US dollar declined by 5.4 billion to 20.9 in the week ended February 2nd and are now less than half of the 44 billion long positions in early December. Uh, yesterday, the labor market conditions index came out lower than previous at 0.4. Uh, big ranges yesterday, USD Looney 40 pips up, USD Suisi 60 pips down, USD Japanese Yen 130 pips down yesterday. Today, we're looking at retail sales from the Red Book Index month on month uh, and year on year. Tomorrow, uh, Miss Janet Yellen will have her regular testimony. Friday, retail sales um, and the retail control, which is a new report. Moving to the... Uh, European markets, the German DAX 30, 250 points down, CAC 40, 100 down yesterday. The EU Centex investor confidence uh, was pretty much uh, lower than expected. Swiss unemployment rate, of course, came uh, as usual as the prediction. Uh, the Spanish industrial output um, actual was 3.7, estimated 4.3. So there's a decline there as well. Today, we have the German industrial production, a decline as well. European trade balance uh, and also Wednesday, European Commission will release economic growth forecasts. Uh, please pay attention to, the, to that report on Friday. Uh, the European and Germany gross domestic product are due. UK markets, the FTSE 100 lost 160 points yesterday and closed at 5,674. A 10-year guild yields were unchanged at 1.57%. Yesterday, BRC retail sales monitor, 2.60%, uh, 215 better than the expectations. Uh, big ranges yesterday for the pound versus the dollar, 200 range uh, versus the Japanese yen, 260 pips down yesterday, 476 page range. 150 down already today versus the Aussie 81 pips down yesterday from 240 range uh, another 80 down already today and versus the Kiwi 85 pips down yesterday 240 pips range uh, it's going pretty much sideways today uh, versus the Swiss franc 160 pips down yesterday 236 pips range uh, going sideways as we speak today we have the GDP estimate. We also have the um, trade balance, uh, which is um, all reports regarding the trade balance, non-EU, uh, the direct trade balance, and also good uh, goods uh, trade balance. We also have the pr uh, house price uh, balance, the manufacturing production year on year, uh, and also uh, month on month. Uh, and we also have uh, the industrial production uh, year on year and month on month. We also have a couple of uh, tier three events for today for the um, traders which are monitoring the pound. Today's the day. Moving to the uh, Asian Pacific markets, the Nikkei 225 ranged 890 points yesterday, 155 down, going down today, sixth consecutive day of losing. The total is 1,680 points since the 1st of February. Money supply uh, yesterday was a little bit better 
uh, than the forecast and the previous machine tool orders year on year improved to minus 17.2% from minus 25.8. The yen stretched its uh, gains against its uh, rivals, tracking its overnight strength to renewed concerns about Europe and uh, the tremors in the region's banking sector. Uh, in addition, a sharp sell-off uh, in the European and US stocks, as well as uh, the weakness in oil prices, uh, once again prompted investors to buy heaven assets, uh, such as uh, US Treasuries and the yen, of course. The shares in Tokyo dropped sharply on uh, Tuesday as investors increasingly questioned the direction of monetary policy by the Bank of Japan. Uh, Japan's introduction of negative interest rates this month has set investors to worry that the uh, uh, conventional monetary policies are uh, not working to combat a global economic slowdown. Uh, the Japanese finance minister, Mr. Aso, uh, said uh, yesterday that the yen's appreciation overnight was clearly sharp, indicating the government's uh, discomfort over a rising currency that could, of course, undermine a sluggish economy. Uh, you know that this is quite, quite important for their export and import ratios. Today, we have the uh, Japanese Domestic Corporate Goods Price Index, year-on-year year and month-on-month. Month. We also have the uh, Foreign Bond Investment and Foreign Investment in Japan Stocks Reports. Uh, these are all, all due um, for, the, for the yen. Uh, we do have a lot of traders speculating on the yen, so be careful of the reports today. The Pacific, the NAB's business survey, softened slightly in uh, January, although the deterioration uh, was to a large extent driven by a sharp decline in the mining and wholesale. Uh, business conditions um, eased back to plus five points in January from plus six before, consistent with the long run average with all three major components, which are trade, profit and employment, edging back in the, uh, in the month. Business confidence continued to hold up in the face of turmoil in uh, financial markets, despite the efforts it appears to be uh, having on uh, sentiment globally. Uh, given the underlying expectation for the non-mining recovery to remain on track, uh, monetary policy uh, will still be on hold for an extended period. Australia has increased in wheat crop estimate um, after farmers um, completed harvesting. Basically, the outlook for the uh, production uh, was clouded by, uh, by the hot and dry weather linked to uh, the El Nino, uh, which will probably rank among the three strongest uh, since 1950s. Western Australia's uh, wheat crop totaled 8.8 .8 million tons compared to 8.7 million tons estimated in December. Uh, today, uh, we're going to see the AUD new home sales for New Zealand uh, retail sales reports coming from the electronic card month-on-month uh, -month and year-on-year -year reports. On Wednesday, uh, for the Kiwi business PMI reports, uh, Thursday, we're going to have Glenn Stevens' speech for the uh, Australian dollar and also uh, the consumer inflation expectation reports. On Friday, uh, the uh, Aussies investment lending for homes, home loans, uh, and that would be pretty much the most important events in the economic calendar. Moving to the commodity sector, the S&P 500 index had a range of 36 points yesterday, ended with a decline of 30 points. Oil touched the uh, supporting um, the supporting chart at 29.40 uh, per barrel and is now with a minor correction to 30.30 dollars per barrel. Gold prices continued the uptrend and added another 26 dollars per troy ounce yesterday, which was out of 36, even over 36 dollars range. Uh, the current price now is 1,192 dollars per troy ounce. That was uh, pretty much all for me from today. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a successful trading day. Cheers. Bye-bye.